Hey, what's up everybody? This is All Out with Mobile Wiz Tech and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about another budget smartwatch which is compatible with your Android or iOS phones. This is also rated IP67, which means it is dust and water resistant. Now, is it worth buying? I'll let you know my thoughts on that right after this. Before I jump in, for more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. Let's have a quick look at the box. The name of the company that produces this smartwatch is Can Mixes. And here are some of the key features it offers. It has a call reminder. You can check or read your messages. You can track your sleeping. It has 10 different sport modes. You can track your calories that are burnt. And it also has a pedometer on here. Okay. Okay, just like I stated before, it is rated IP67 water resistant, which means it can be immersed in water of three feet or one meter up to 30 minutes. It is touch sensitive, so the screen is touch screen and the screen size is 1.3 inches, okay? And it supports Android 4.4 and higher and iOS 8.0 and higher. So with that stated, let's go ahead and open up this package. So as you can see here, the Gear S3 screen and the Cam Mixes smartwatch screen are the same size. But when you look at the side view, the Gear S3 is thicker. So this one does have a smaller fit to it and is lighter as well. I think it's 60 grams. So there you have it. So to power this on, you just press and hold down this button here or the crown for a second or two. And then it vibrates and it turns on just like that. Let's have a closer look at the watch. As you can see, the watch band is made out of silicone and it has the quick release pins. So you can swap out the watch bands for this watch. For the time sake of this video, I won't go through the whole setup process because it's pretty simple. Plus the manual breaks it down. It lets you know what app you need, how to navigate, all that good stuff. So. I don't want to hog up time in this video just going through the setup process when it's pretty simple. So if you press on the crown button, the screen is woken up, but twisting the crown does nothing. So you will press the crown button to return to the watch face or to power on or power off the watch. Again, so you press that. And then if you want to see the different watch faces, just slide your screen down just like that. You can see all four watch faces. And then if you slide over towards the left, you can check your calories or track your sleeping if you slide over again. And slide over this way, back to the watch face, slide over again. You have your different sport modes. So as you can see here, all your different sport modes okay and then let's see what happens how do you return back slide back over here you can find your phone you can check the bp and all right you can check the heart rate you have a stopwatch the countdown this is where you'll go for your messages so you just tap information and then you have this female psychological cycle so you can track or set a reminder for your pregnancy for the females. So I do like the fact that they add that option. Now this timeout thing here, you see how that goes to sleep pretty quick. Let's go ahead and get that changed. All right, oh, wrong way. Go up one more time, tap settings, and it's auto lock. I did notice that after you do change your screen timeout time, in order for it to take place, you have to exit out of the screen by sliding over towards the right. Then it will take place. As you can see, I have it now 
untouched more than five seconds and it's still awake. All right, so just so you keep that in mind. So another thing we can look at here in settings is information. Okay, and this is where you can set what apps will give you notifications to your watch. So there you have the supported apps for notifications. All right. Again, to go back a screen, you slide over towards the left and that's how you get back here. And if you tap switch, you have your alarm disconnected or your, I guess your status or disconnect from your phone if you want to. And then tum the risk. So that's the wake up gesture. I guess you want to call it if you want to wake up your watch while it's on your wrist. So that is already enabled. And I can put that to the test by putting it on my wrist and then go ahead and tumble all over my wrist to see if the watch wakes up. Just to give you an idea of how this looks on my wrist. Here you go. And as you can see, I was able to turn my wrist over to wake it up and turn it back away to make it go to sleep. Again, turn it this way to wake it up. Back to my original question. Do I believe that the Cam Mixes smartwatch is worth it? I definitely think it's worth it. You get so many features that a high-end premium smartwatch will have for the fraction of the cost. You can also change out the watch bands and it has that IP67 water resistant feature as well. I definitely think that it's worth it. Right now it's $45.99 on Amazon and there will be a link posted in the description. Please use that link if you're interested in it. And there are also two different colors for this. There's a gray one and there's also a red one. So again, if you're interested in this, I will have a link posted in the description and that's going to complete my review for the Cam Mixes smartwatch. I thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Also, share it out and comment below. Until next time, keep it mobile.